What's up there, YouTube? Archman here. And uh, this is a dual purpose video. One is what the title says, the unboxing of this keyboard here. And two is a test for this new Rode Wireless Go microphone, which I, buy, I bought for the, the Nice Guy Machine channel. Um, and just so you guys know, uh, the Nice Guy Machine channel is going to go live this coming week. The machine is scheduled to be delivered on Monday. So I'll be filming Monday, and that's kind of what I want my first video to be, is uh, the machine coming. I mean, can't be Nice Guy Machine without a machine, right? So, yeah, I just kind of also wanted to show this thing, and uh, I'm going to clip it to my shirt. It's probably going to be loud. Try not to make it too loud here. Yeah, so there we go. Um, so yeah, I, I'm switching back and forth a lot here between my MacBook and my iPad. And so I wanted to get a wireless keyboard <clears throat> to be able to switch back and forth and toggle back and forth. And I really just couldn't find one that was sexy. You know, I, I wanted, you know, obviously the... Uh, the Apple one is kind of the sexiest one, sleek and slim and light and matches all this shit. Um, but it doesn't have the option to quickly switch between devices. So I was just like, well, that's ridiculous. So you know they're going to come out with that soon. A little coffee this afternoon. Um, I'm not interested at all. I have zero interest. So this is actually going to be a, a unique perspective, I think, for this... Uh, um, video um also uh shout out to the individual who asked me he was like hey man would you, will you do a review on the keychron um uh, unboxing or whatever so shout out to my buddy dan the man hopefully you enjoy this video and hopefully it doesn't get every time i go off my brand people people fucking leave my channel <laughs> I once upon a time had a YouTube following of about 8,000 people, and I'm down to 2,000 people now, so that's kind of crazy. It's funny, when I tell people that I have 2,000 followers on YouTube, they're like, oh my god, that's crazy. And I'm always like, is it? Most of the people I follow have millions of, of viewers, but they're also not fucking dickwads like old Uncle Archman. So here's the Keychron K2. This is the... Uh, device in question. This is what we're going to be unboxing today, taking a look at. A tactile mechanical keyboard for peak productivity. I went with the red keys. I guess that's probably indicating that there because I wanted it to be the least mechanically mechanically keyboard as possible just because I don't, like I said, I don't give a shit about it to be mechanical. I want it to be two things, sexy and functional. And not necessarily in that order, obviously, because like I said, I didn't choose, I find the Apple ones to be the sexiest, um, but not the most functional. So this is kind of what I found that seemed to strike a balance um, in all facets, on those two facets. So let's see how she works. This is just going to be, you know, Slow going, Uncle Archman style. I'm just gonna take a look here. If you're a Windows user, please find the appropriate keycaps in the box and follow the instructions below to find and replace the following keycaps. Well, if you're a Windows user, I imagine it sucks to suck. <laughs> just kidding. I just have to say that. Always gotta be a dick, right? So one thing that I, I'll say that was a red flag for me, especially, you know, I mean, you look at videos, but I mean, just looking at the thing, you're like, it looks thick. So if you want to rest your wrists on something, you're going to be resting your wrists on, you, you have to buy something else to, to, to rest your wrists on. But I figure, why do you need to rest your wrists? <laughs> I mean, how, how lazy is that? So it comes, obviously, you guys are, if you're watching this, you probably maybe already know, if, unless you're just a Archman viewer. It comes with this cool device that you can pull keys with, so it slips under the keys. 
you can pull them off really easily. Change your keys out. It comes as an orange one if you want to match this one up here. We'll see in a sec. And then it has keys that you can switch out if you're a Windows user. So it just kind of is what it is. I don't believe I'll be switching anything out because I don't fucking care. Uh, and it comes with a nice little braided oops, USB-C here with, with a electromagnetic interference doodad on it. Kind of nice that it has the right angle on it. I mean, I find, you know, everything switching to USB-C, so it's always nice to have an extra USB-C cable around. Uh, it's kind of, a, I'm always a little bit bummed when it's, these days, when it comes not with USB-C on both sides, right? I mean, because like pretty soon this shit's going to be obsolete too, and you're going to be hunting for a new cable again. So kind of a bummer. Uh, first impression, guys, I would say is it is chunky. Like I, I knew it was going to be chunky. Um, oh, this is, I should say, hey, 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 guys, guys, guys. Dog fight. <laughs> this is the, I should have said, this is the aluminum version. I went ahead and said, why not get the aluminum version? Obviously, it's going to be a, at least slightly sexier. Um, and it does feel sexier. It feels nice. Um, looks cool. Obviously, you know, it's kind of a throwback. This looks like it's like an Atari thing or something. Um, so, <laughs> again, you know, I, I personally, I'm not a keyboard guy. You know, like when you hear people bitch about like, oh, like my MacBook Pro here is a 2017 MacBook Pro, and that's one of the the people years that people just hate the keyboard. Where I'm just like, I couldn't give two shits, man. Like honestly, I'm just like, does it suck? I don't know. I mean, like I don't mind this thing here, you know. It's it uh, it doesn't really matter. One thing that's funny though here I should mention, especially if you're a person who is considering doing this for the reason that I did it is. If you use Sidecar to um, make essentially a split screen with a MacBook Pro and a um, I'm and a, a MacBook, sorry, a iPad Pro and a MacBook, um, you, both keyboards work with both. So actually, wh wherever the mouse is, so like if I put my if I put this mouse's cursor on the MacBook, I can type on the MacBook with this iPad keyboard which is freaking awesome. So I wish I had seen that before because I would not have bought this if that was the case. So suffice it to say, if I don't love this thing, I will be returning it, especially now that you can, um, I think you can take stuff to Kohl's, I believe. So if you don't like shit that you get from Amazon now, you can just take it to Kohl's. That's actually pretty cool. It has two different little heights of feet. I don't fucking, you know, for me, I just want this shit to be low profile. So I, I could, I would never use that thing. I don't give a shit how tilty it is. I just want it down lower. Obviously, like if this works for me, that's, that says that right there. A MacBook's keyboard is flat as fuck. Like you don't, it doesn't <laughs> lean. So I don't get why they would put that on there. It's a waste of time, energy, and it's a complete and total uh, gimmick, in my opinion. I, I think it's just ridiculous. Um, but people like to mention it when you talk about it. All right, so let's see here. Just for grins, we'll see if it actually came with anything. So it's cable off and Bluetooth. We'll switch it to Bluetooth. Bluetooth. This thing was dead on arrival. We'll see. Oh, no. You can see the lights are doing some cool shit. I'm going to turn my lights down just for grins, and we'll take a look at We'll take a look at these lights. So it does do like crazy shit. Again, I absolutely couldn't care less about this. I would not have got the RGB version except for it's just included when you get the aluminum one. So it does all this fucking stuff, which is crazy. So if you're considering transitioning from a male to a female, you might like this keyboard. Just kidding. You're not supposed to say shit like that. That's But that's why I like to say it, though, isn't it? Okay, who brought the asshole? All right, so we're going to see what happens to, to pair this thing. I'm going to turn the lights back up, and we're going to go for it. Pair it. I guess... 
Let me just talk about it real quick so you guys that want the fucking quick and dirty can 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 fuck off. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, it's it's a keyboard. It's definitely a keyboard. The uh, you know, for me, I like this. I like this. Um, it, it, this is gonna definitely take some getting used to. It's it's. It's nothing special. I don't. I, it it definitely doesn't do anything for me. Um, it's cool looking. Uh, it's a fucking wireless keyboard, and it can switch between three different Bluetooth devices. So I can, I can. I think you hit like Control that, and it switches to one. Control Option two, and it switches to your other thing. And three. Same with this mouse. I can click. I can switch between computer, iPad, or my phone if I want. Um, or another computer, obviously. So real quick, let's just see how fast this goes. Um, do, do, do. Toggle switch to Bluetooth. Uh, do, do, do. You know, so I imagine, let's just, tell you what, let's just go to Bluetooth settings and see if it's there. Um, on my computer. Bluetooth. Let's go to Bluetooth preferences. It's looking for stuff. Looking for stuff. So it doesn't automatically see it, which I wouldn't have thought it would. Um, one, connect Bluetooth. Uh, press function plus one for four seconds. That seems easy enough. Function one, two, three, four, one thousand. And there it is. We're going to connect. And I'll open a browse air. So since I'm currently using Sidecar, um, I got my browser down here because I've got Fusion 360 running up here. Um, I guess I could see the appeal of the, the mechanical keyboard now that I'm actually typing something. Um, it seems a little crazy. I mean, you have to move your fingers and you have to do a lot. Um, just so you guys know, that orange is an escape key. It says escape on it. I imagine I can turn those lights off. I'll be turning those lights off, I think, because um, I think it cuts it way down. I believe it's like something great like 20 hours if you use those lights and 20 days if you don't use the lights so obviously i don't think i'm going to be using the lights so i bet if i hold down function two i'm just going to guess let's take a guess function two three four five we'll go on how it's six one thousand and let's go in my ipads bluetooth settings here and we'll look for key cron. I might have been wrong. Um, guys, why are you guys being crazy? They're like, Dad's making a video, so fuck all this. Let's see, switch between function and multimedia keys. Do do do. Did I did I turn a page here? <clears throat> Okay, for RGB version, press function, push right hour, plus the left, change lighting effects with that function plus one, and pair with device name Keychron K2. Well, let's see. Where does it tell us how to connect to other shit? Function plus one, Keychron K2. This keyboard supports pairing of three devices simultaneously via combination key. Function plus one, function plus two, function plus three. Bluetooth indicator will flash for three minutes. Oh, it is there. All right, so let's do that. Four grams. Hey, stop it, guys. You guys are crazy. You see these little bastards? I guess you can't see them. My crazy goddamn wiener dogs. <clears throat> let's see. Just for grins, we'll go into Safari here. We're gonna type poop and stuff. And there we go, poop and stuff. Hey, there's actually an Etsy page called Poop My Poop and Stuff. Let's see, 
Oh, that's fucking scarier than three dudes filming two dudes on two dudes with two other dudes jacking it. All right, so that's what happened there. All right, so now let's see. We're going to switch, toggle switch, USB plugged in, connect our cable, blah, 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 back with Bluetooth mode, hold function, plus one, search for Bluetooth indicator, slow or failed, switch Bluetooth devices, short press combination, key function one, function two, function three to switch to the other device. All right, just for grins, we're gonna go back up to the MacBook Pro here. Get out of the Bluetooth settings. Oh, my shit's all fucked up because it it uh, wants it to be on Sidecar. So that's what's gonna happen. So I, I, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I don't, because I'm using Sidecar, I don't actually have to switch back and forth, but let's see. So I got one, two, three. Boom. Yep. So that works there. And that's connected to MacBook Pro. Um, see what happens just real quick if I go um, function two to be connected to the iPad and go. So again, yeah, it's it because I'm in sidecar, it doesn't matter whether I Bluetooth connect to the MacBook Pro or the iPad Pro because they're just connected, I guess. They're they're be with, with sidecar. So I'm not a fucking tech guy, you guys, which is one of the reasons why I thought it might be a good idea to do this video when old Dan the man asked me if I would um cuz he was like Everybody, there's like one video out there who's not just trying to sell these fucking things. So, um, just seems to be kind of the way it is. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. It looks like I may have turned the lights off somehow, but yeah, which is good. But yeah, this is uh, kind of just an unboxing, initial impressions on the Keychron K2. This is aluminum, the aluminum version, made in China, designed by Keychron. <clears throat> so yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, that's the keyboard. I, I, uh, I can't say, you know, it, I guess, let me talk about the feel, the rigidity. It feels good. It honestly, it feels really, uh, it feels exactly like I expected it to, to be honest. Like it feels chunky. Um, uh, it looks good. It's, it's high quality looking thing. Let's see. I'm just going to do a little bit more typing on it. Um, I'm also not a great typer. So I typed, I went to my office the other day and got a boner when I saw the lady in blue. And look, it actually worked out good. That's like perfect, I, which never happens to me. I'm, I'm actually the shittiest typer ever and I non-stop have typos so maybe the fact that you have to be a little bit more let's see I'll type something else maybe the fact that you have to be a little bit more conscious because you do have to do such big um, keystrokes maybe is a good thing let's try I'm gonna type I love coffee I love coffee at any time of the day. It's perfect. Other than that, I had to do that little, but that was actually pretty intuitive and quick. Jeez, you know what? Honestly, maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I fucking am a mechanical keyboard guy. Um, this is like a middle of the road one, I would say. You know, it kind of has like a custom look, but it's not a custom price. These, this is a hundred bucks on Amazon. Um, I love coffee at any time of the day, and I sometimes take four shits and that worked too well that's uh, that is surprising i wish i could you know get the point across of how just dog shit of a type typist i am but that's pretty surprising that i that i'm not getting um typos like i usually maybe it's because i'm being fucking filmed i don't know um let's say i 
hope that the heater coming on is not crazy loud and I have not heard a recording with this microphone yet so I hope it doesn't suck exclamation point well, that fucking works great. All right, let's try this. Um, let's go screen brightness. Works without a fucking problem. So this is cool. Let's see what happens here. Right now, um, this will be interesting. It's con it's actually controlling the MacBook Pro screen brightness, and I'm in sidecar, so this is kind of interesting. I'm gonna move the cursor back to my uh, eye, my fucking, sorry, that's the MacBook Pro. That's the fucking, uh, iPad Pro. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. So, so it's controlling the screen uh, of the iPad. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go back to shit. I forgot how to do it. Oh, is it function one? Quick hold. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm doing the the screen brightness of the computer. So that's cool. Let's go keyboard brightness. Oh, does it do this one? So it's not doing the keyboard brightness of my computer, and I guess, oh, it is doing some crazy shit down here. It's like pulsing. All right, so that's that. Um, let's see if I hit play, what happens? Nothing, because I wasn't actually doing anything. All right, well, shit seems to be pretty cool so far, I say, I would say, guys. I uh, I like it. I, 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 I don't know what else to say. It's a fucking keyboard. Uh, <clears throat> compared to this is the 12 inch the folio keyboard for the iPad Pro uh a little comparison there here's the obviously everybody knows what this is here's how that here's how the compares to this thing so that's that's good um palabra a tu madre boys and girls i'm going to split town and beat these two fucking little wiener dogs. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Peace guys.